the Alliance of Civilization is an initiative of the United Nations Secretary General that was designed to address the following questions. How do we live well together in diversity in a globalized world? And brings together institutions, governments, and civil society. And the process is steered by a high representative of the Secretary General, which currently is uh, Jorge Sampaio, former president of Portugal. As, as most people know, it was really a deplorable video produced in rather murky circumstances, and it deserved no attention. Now, a number of people with ill intent made sure that it would be seen, right. and massively so. And it provoked understandable emotions, uh, uh, and were strongly condemned by almost everyone, from the UN Secretary General to countless leaders and, and millions of, of, of citizens. It must be said here that what has happened in Benghazi is probably completely a, a separate case with t clearly a terrorist intent. So, so first of all, I think we emotions must cool down, and I think we should we should be grateful to all who are taking steps in that direction. In a globalized world, we are all intimate neighbors, and it's not easy to understand the implications of that. Uh, no, it's not true that a single isolated incident does represent the views and the will of vast majorities of nations and communities. As UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon observed, the fault line is not here between Muslims and non-Muslim societies, but between a small numbers of extremists on different sides with a vested interest in steering hostility and conflict. And no, the violence incidents do not represent the views of the majority. And many have said so, uh, through posters, uh, through preachers, through op -heads, and through um, um, social networks campaign that the Alliance itself has triggered. So what we need here uh, is a balance, uh, a more balance in our attitude in, in general, and fostering the concept of responsible citizenship and responsible leadership. Uh, it's not because we have freedom of expression to which we are all deeply attached and committed that we can use this to humiliate the other. This uh, program of the Alliance must obviously go hand in hand with broader international community efforts to address injustice, to address the challenge of development and unsolved conflict. But all issues which feed frustration in the world. Now in the very near future, one of our main concerns is to make sure that we learn from these repeated crises and that they strengthen our resolve to live well together in diversity. Because if you think of it, there is no real alternative to that, is it?